morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in, in May. In fact, we're at the second week of May here in Pennsylvania Zone 6. But the birds are singing their praises. The leaves are coming out on the trees and, you know, the wildflowers are coming out. And so it's such a beautiful time of the year. But, you know, there's one thing I haven't prepared in my garden yet and that's my garden fountain and now that it's warming up and the danger of frost has passed and so today I wanted to share with you some tips and ideas on how to spring clean your garden fountain so thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden I hope this aerial view of my garden gives you some ideas for your garden. So a couple of years ago I installed this garden fountain at the end of one of my raised garden beds. I have three raised garden beds and each size is 4 foot by 32 foot long, you know, divided in the 4 8 foot sections. But at the very end of the, the one raised bed I installed a garden fountain, a, a bird bath there, and it's really been nice having that in my garden because I can, you know, hear, hear the water uh, while I'm out there working in the garden, and it attracts birds to the garden, so it's really been a, a blessing having that in my garden. In fact, I did a video a couple years ago on how you could build this garden fountain for under $65. But anyhow, right behind me over there on the end of my raised garden bed is where I have this fountain. And I have all the tools laid out where I, that I'm going to use today to clean this fountain. So follow me along. If you noticed on the introduction of my garden videos, I have this garden fountain here on display and you know I just planted some wave petunias the purple variety here around this and so it's time for me just to clean this out over the winter I don't I didn't cover it with anything and it's still filled with water and leaves and dirt and so it's time for me to clean this out and that sun's really coming up starting to warm things up here it was 57 degrees this morning here in Pennsylvania. But I love this type of weather because you can wear your flannel shirt outside. But anyhow, let's take a closer look here at what I'm going to be doing. I have some of my tools laid out that I'm going to be using here. So here in the corner I have a couple scrub brushes, a, a scrubby pad, I got some debris in there from over the, the winter time that needs to be cleaned out, but over here behind me I have, I have a, a wet dry vacuum, it's a 12 gallon that I'm going to use to suck some of the dirt out. You want to make sure you take the filter out before you use it for a wet dry vac. And then here I also have a, it's called a utility pump. But you can get these at home centers. They'll skim the water down to about eighth inch, quarter inch. And so they're really handy to have around your property if you need to transfer water from one container to the next. And I just have it attached here, an old uh, washing machine hose that I'm going to use. So I'm going to submerge this into the container there, into the fountain, and then we're going to empty it out. Up on top of the log here I have this is the, the fountain that I had. I, we're going to be taking that apart and hosing out the filter and, and cleaning that. So one of the first things I need to do is roll up my sleeves. Because I know I'm going to get them wet if I don't. 
And so I have the skimmer pump. I'm going to put this the utility pump and plug it into the cord that I have over here that runs the pump. You can hear it turn on. And then you want to make sure you aim your hose out. out. But you can see it. See it's already starting to take the water. Now right now I just have the pump on its side, as you can see. Just so it's not going to be, the bottom's not going to be clogged up with debris. And so I just want to take the majority of this water out using my skimmer pump. You could also just use a bucket if you have a bucket and just uh, scoop the water out with a bucket. Or again, uh, just use your shot vac if you have to. But this is probably going to take a few minutes to, for this water to empty out of here. I'm going to start lifting up a little bit because it was starting to suck some air. But you can see it's taking that water down pretty fast. So I've got most of the water out now. I'm going to switch over to my vacuum cleaner. As you can see, we have leaves and sticks and some dirt in the bottom of this. And you know, these principles would apply no matter what size fountain you have at home. So I'm going to hook up that vacuum and get sucking out the debris here. I'm taking the hose and just washing down the sides. I also have a, a brick in the bottom of it that you may have seen. That's where I set the pump on. But I'm just going to get the hose and wash down the side, get all the heavy dirt off. And then just take one of these scrub brushes, scrub the sides. You could probably put a, if you have a small fountain like this, probably put a lid over it over the winter time out of a piece of plywood or something, or plastic, at least to keep the debris out. But the water in here doesn't seem to hurt this over the winter. This is one of these tough tubs that you get from Tractor Supply, so it's pretty durable. So it's looking pretty good. I mean, hose it down a little bit. And now I'm just going to grab this pad here. I forget the name of what they call these things, but they're, they're good for scraping down the surface. And I'm going to scrub the bottom real good. And then get the hose and wash it down one more time. And then I'm going to get my skimmer pump and pump this out, the, the rest of the water here. And so with most of the water pumped out, I'm going to just turn on my vacuum cleaner and suck out the rest of the water. But anyhow, 
that's nice and clean. Let's take a closer look. So what I want to do next is get the hose and we'll clean that filter out on the pump. So this just has a removable top on it. That's something really easy to do. And there's like a, there's the filter here that you want to just, I'm just going to take the hose and wash it out. It's really not that dirty, but you know, all different pond pumps or fountains will have a filter on there you want to clean out real good. This one here really wasn't that dirty. And so you just want to fit it back in. But you know, you might want to keep an eye out on your filter, maybe clean it every couple months, or maybe once a month, depending on the condition of your water. And so I'm simply just going to put that on the brick there. And I'm going to start filling the, this tub up with some water. So this probably will take about five minutes to fill. And so I have the tub all filled with water. And I'm just going to take off the end of the fountain nozzle here. Make sure that's all nice and clean. Of course every fountain is going to have a different type of nozzle. But I think we're going to be ready to go here. You know, all told, it probably takes close to half an hour to, to clean out your fountain, depending on the size of your fountain. But I'm really excited to, to turn this fountain on and uh, start attracting these birds back to my garden over here. So let's turn on this fountain. Well, I hope this video was able to give you some tips and ideas on how to spring clean your garden fountain. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com. And there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim and restore your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based vegan lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day and a bountiful garden season. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.